Good morning here in New Zealand. I am Patty Wonder, Independent Sensi Director of Team Wonder Bar. And um, hopefully I'm in the drive to director group. <laughs> Let's see if I can jiggle my camera a little bit. There you go. Um, since you all had no idea I was hopping on, um, I'll just see if anybody hops on. Feel free to say hello when you hop on. Hello, hello, Cindy. I hope everybody in America had a great day. I, hi, Samantha. I know we're going into you're going into your evening and we are sitting at 11:30 a.m. on Thursday here in New Zealand. <clears throat> so, usually I'm getting out of bed right now. <laughs> so I had to set my alarm because I have a sip and sniff after this and volunteering after that. Hey Yvette, my Kim. Ooh, pizza. It's very bizarre how pizza is like the most perfect food, isn't it? Perfect food. No matter what you like on pizza, that's the thing. You can always personalize it. So it's good. It's good. All right. I'm going to get started. Um, Jamie, my sister from another mister, uh, asked me if I would share something that I talk about all the time. Um, Everything that Jamie said about her planning is very me. I will say I watched it and just kept going, yeah, me too. Yes, I agree. Yep, 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 yep. Um, however, saying that, <laughs> I became very routine. I know every single day, our, we have three simple jobs. Book, sell, and recruit. That's it. That's our actual job. So if I'm not doing those three things in the day, I haven't done my, done my job. And I am somebody that loves to be creative and make flyers and samples are relaxing. So I tend to do that when I watch TV now because otherwise it's just kind of, to me, wasting income time. Um, but I'm going to tell you a story in case any of you are like me out there. The first time I became self-employed, thanks to direct sales, was in America, and I quit my job, <laughs> and I remember waking up and going into my little office, and I sat there, and I went, oh, and I had this thing about planners back then, too. I've always loved planners, um, and I, like Jamie, well, though I have spent money on the Erin Condren one, but I have bought all the planners, the pretty ones, the expensive ones, we don't have happy planner here. So, um, I haven't had happy planner, but I would forever in a day be interchanging and no, it has to be very simple. And I know that I need time slots. It needs to say eight, eight, 15, eight, 30, nine, eight, 45, nine o'clock. Like I need, I don't know if it's from when I was a hairdresser or worked in a spa, but I like time frames because I budget in my driving time, which sometimes coincides with what time do I have to get up? How long does it take to get ready? And I backtrack everything. Um, I am ADHD, but I'm extremely organized. So um, being raised by my uh, grandma and grandpa who are German and Dutch. So everything has a place. Don't put it down, put it away. So squirrel but explains kind of who I am and why I am the way I am um, but I went into my office and I would start to reorganize my planner I would clean my shelves I would tidy my desk I would um, I would organize my stock make sure that the oldest stuff is in front I would I would do all the things that I was busy working and my director in this other company called me and said, well, how's it going? How's your first day of being self-employed? And I was like, good. I did this and this and this and this and this and this and this. And she's just like, girl, you're going to organize yourself right out of business. 
And I was like, huh? <laughs> and she's like, you need, okay, do this and call me back when you've done it. And she did that probably for a good three, four weeks. What's on, what do you have planned today to get your booking, selling, recruiting? What do you have planned? Cool. Let me know what it is. Call me when you're done. Now we know that's called accountability. I didn't know it back then. Um, and this was before, <laughs> this is how old I am. This is before internet and Facebook and all that kind of stuff. This is 1995, okay? So every, all of our newsletters we did cut and paste on a photocopier to our team. And, um, and um, like, so it had to be the phone. It had to be the phone, actually dialing and talking on the phone. None of the texting, none of the messaging, right? So I know y'all just had a mini heart attack because the thought of calling people, because <laughs> nobody, like when people call, you're like, why aren't you texting me? What the fuck is wrong with you? Um, and so back in the, that, back in the day, 1995, um, it was phones. It was phones or it was people. So here's what she taught me. And it's one of the best lessons I ever learned. And when I think I'm busy, I, I check myself and go, is it 9am to 9pm? Now, again, times have changed and people are up sometimes at different times and up yet. Yeah. Her rule of thumb, which I still believe to this day, is from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., that is people time. Talking to people, meeting with people, seeing people, 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 people. All the fluff, all the sample making, all the organizing, all the whatever is before 9 a.m. and after 9 p.m., but during 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., that is your maximum people time. Do not be doing busy work when you should be doing productive work, your income producing activities. And that was a huge lesson for me because even today I just go, oh, I could do this. And then I go, no, contact some more people. Um, now, I am somebody that sleeps till 1130, but I do tell everybody you can call me whenever you want. My phone doesn't make any noise. I don't have any notifications on. I go on to do not disturb at 11 p.m. So whatever that looks like to you. But it's really rude to ring people before 9 a.m. And it's kind of rude to ring people after unless you know that they are this person. Um, people know I'm up until 2 o'clock in the morning. So if you want my attention, <laughs> do it after midnight, really. Um, but it's also when I get all of my busy. Some people get up at five o'clock in the morning. Cool. Then you have that time. I do mine at night, but that's when you do the busy times. Um, and so I think no matter what freaking planner you use, if you're not doing the right things and, and team postcards. And I mean, we have, if you, if you've done your brain dump list, um, that Jamie told you, and then you organized it, you know what things, and there are things that have to be done by you. And those things are people. The other shit, you can actually delegate. You all, most of you have kids. Have them stick things. Have them pack things. Have them do things. But do what you can do. Because People do business with who they know, like, and trust. So make sure that you're using your time that only you can do because you have to build the relationships. And some of that includes social media nowadays. It's great to have somebody working on your social media account, but what if they're not connecting because they're, they're not you? And so people are connecting with your PA instead of connecting with you. And that's a different relationship. So I truly believe that the one thing you can do better than everything is to connect with your audience, connect with your leads. You have to do that work. The busy stuff 
somebody else can do that. Somebody can help you. You can do it while you watch Netflix. You can have your husband or your kids or your partner or whatever help you with that. So that's my little preaching for the beginning of this. Um, I'm not showing you my planners. Um, well, I'll show you a little bit just so you can kind of see what they look like. This is Passion Planner Daily. And this has, this is one day spread and it has a full day for notes, but it, on this side it has everything I would ever need and it has the time slots that I like. Um, I still use the full Passion Planner because I had gotten it before these came out. Um, and I'm just trialing the Amplify Planner right now. Um, I, I love Amy. Amy does so many of the things that Jamie runs sheets for. But a lot of people don't know the capabilities or using all of Amy the right way, like to its full potential. So definitely watch the videos on Amy. Um, the, the, the Amplify Planner looks like this. So it has the note section down here, but this is a day worth. But this has daily, weekly, and monthly in it. Now, all of these come from America. So I pay, you know, for shipping. And they're three months at a time, which is also really nice. And you can shove them in your bag. They come in different colors. Um, that's my Amplify Planner. Um, and if you go to either one Passion Planner or Amplify Planner and you go to their websites, they have free PDFs. You can print a bunch out. This is what I did. I printed a bunch out and I used it for about three weeks to see, did it work for me? Did I like it? What didn't I like? If I didn't like something, did they have something else on a different PDF that I maybe liked instead before you sink money into crap? <laughs> because I have sunk the money, people. All right, so that's enough about planners. If I have a discount code, but I'm not here to promote my discount code, but I do have one for Passion Planner if you want one, if you want to order one, if you try it out and like it. Okay, so Jamie wanted me to come and talk about my power hour, as she mentioned in her video. Um, so I thought about this last night because once again, everybody's brain is different. Everybody's work ethic is different. Everybody is, not everybody's hustle and heart match. <laughs> Some are a little lazy, but really, really want it which usually doesn't go well together. You need to get your poop in a group. And I'll tell you what, the more you discipline yourself to do what's important, the easier it gets. And it does become very routine. And it, it speeds up. You get faster at it because you don't get so emotionally invested in everything. Where in the beginning, you're like, <sighs> you know. So the first thing I want to show you is on Workstation. It's called your daily tracking log. Um, it looks like this, but I, I print out two to a sheet. So I print it out so it looks like this, so it fits in my planner. Um, but this is a daily tracking log. I don't know if anybody uses this, but it's a really good thing to use to see where you usually have your numbers, how your team is growing, what you need to focus on. But it says personal retail volume, team wholesale volume, group wholesale volume, group, team, active frontline, and new frontline. So this is on the workstation daily tracking log um you should be looking at your numbers every day every day um for the most part there's certain days i don't but for the most part you want to keep track for a couple reasons what if you didn't get that you got a new downline what if you didn't get an email that you got a reinstatement what if you didn't know that, I mean, if you, I woke up and went, how did I get from there to there? And then I quick looked and went, oh, you know, we do get the PWS emails usually, but what if I forget about Sensi Club or things like that? You start seeing patterns and you kind of see where your numbers hit on the regular. Thanks to the pandemic, everything hits a lot earlier. Thanks, Auntie Rona. Okay, then in, um, in Workstation, they have something called the Daily Power Hour. Now, this is a two-sheet thing. Looks like this. One tells you how to use it, kind of, and one is your worksheet. Now, I tried this, and I didn't like it. 
And I don't know if it's because it had numbers and not check boxes, because that's how big of a difference it is in my brain. Um, but it wasn't specific enough for me. Um, it, it has your monthly goal, your current, and then your daily, your stats every day, things to pay attention to, but then it said follow up network, check in and share the opportunity. And then a to-do list. It's very general, which, you know, that's sensey. It's very general because it fits into, you know, and it has your top goals over here. I have the camera flipped so you can see it the right way. Um, but then I point in the wrong direction. So this is in workstation. Here are two ways to use your power hour. So it goes through and tells you everything. Um, it's kind of similar to the 90 day slay, which is what Jamie asked me to come talk to you about. Um, but it is general. I don't like general. I like specific. I'm a very black and white. Tell me exactly what to do and I'll do it. Don't, if you don't, if you're, if you're too broad and you're, oh, just, just contact five people today. Well, about what? <laughs> like follow up. Well, is that follow up on customers? Is that follow up? Like I analyze things too much apparently, but anyway, and, um, and follow up and check in, you know, like it explains it on the sheet, but if you just got the other sheet, yeah. It doesn't have boxes to check off or color or anything like that. So it just doesn't work in my brain. So there's two things, two tools that will help you that are on workstation. Power hour and daily tracking log. All right. Now to the main, the thing that, um, that Jamie wanted me to come talk to you about. And then I did a cheater version. So... There is a video by Christina Stainbrook called How to Be a Director in a Month. And I watched it and I love it. Some people don't like it because it's pretty full on. It's blunt and it's, somebody said it's aggressive. And I went, well, I didn't get that. But sure, it is. But it's truthful. It's absolutely truthful. There's nothing she said in there I couldn't agree with. Are you just too weak to handle the truth? You can't handle the truth. Um, you know. Is Jack Nicholson yelling at you? Um, uh, so I'm. this is what it's called. And she talks about the 90-day slay in that video. And that's where I found it. Um, she has the link. I will put it in the, um, the group as well. I'll put both. Because once again, I run everything side to side. Like two to a sheet instead of one to a sheet. But I'll put the one sheet and then I'll put the side by side too. Um... But this is what it looks like. And this is something, ideally, if you want something bad enough, you do this every single day for 90 days. And that's what, what sets people apart. Because a lot of people try it, and not many people go, yep, still on it, yep, still on it. But what I can guarantee you is <clears throat> when I use this, I see results the first day. When I use it for several days, I see results. It's it's not hard. And the reason why you're seeing results with it is because it, it tells you exactly what you have to do and the important parts of your business. Now, this whole side is social media based, which I actually needed direction. Like, what should I be doing? And, and if you don't follow um, Cozy Corner... Um, Jilly Sue online, her cozy something or another direct sales page. She has a group and Jilly Sue to me is the guru of all social media and she's a SSD. So she speaks our language as well. Um, but definitely go follow her about how to do better at social media because I'm not going to go into that now. But this is honest to God, everything I would tell you to do if you wanted it bad. If you want it bad and you are going to, you know, as they say, balls to the wall, which I think about that analogy and it makes no sense. But anyway, um, this is the sheet. I also made this one, as I talked about earlier, because it's in the files, my five by five, which is a baby system of this. But it has the important things that, you know, 
All right, so let's go through it because this is one thing she doesn't do and I had to learn it by doing it. And I will tell you, I'm not even gonna lie, the first, and this is why I'm telling you, the first day I did it, it took me six hours. <laughs> now I can do it in about an hour, sometimes 90 minutes, but usually about an hour. <clears throat> okay, so <laughs> I promise. And that's why I'm telling you because I'm gonna try to save you some time. And here's the other thing. You don't have to sit down and do it all in one. You can do a chunk here. You can do a chunk waiting in the car to pick up your kids. You can do a chunk while you're waiting here. Because once you know what they are, because here's the thing. After you do this for a couple weeks, you automatically know every single day what you should be doing. So this is just kind of a byproduct of going, oh, yeah, I did that. Yep, I did that. Yep, I did that. It keeps you from going. It keeps you from wavering off track. You know, my grandma used to drive. She prided herself in her driving skills, may I just say. But wherever her eyes went, her car went. So when she looked out the window, she kind of started veering off of the road. And I'd be like, hey, <laughs> bring it back. This is the bring it back. <laughs> Stop veering off the road. Pay attention. <laughs> All right. First one. 10 minutes of daily personal development. I am somebody, and I think Jacqueline could testify to this. I always know where all the YouTube videos are. I know about all the groups. I love listening to and watching videos all the time. Even yesterday on my day off, I was doing dishes and I was listening to videos. Um, personal development could be reading. It could be your podcast. It could be, go. I got, like to go for walks and listen to audiobooks. That's another thing, because then I get two in one. And I absorb things better when I'm walking. Um, log your daily numbers. So whether you do them on the sheet or you use your daily tracking thing or you have it in your planner, whatever that looks like, log your daily numbers. Check workstation and news tab. So those are your little simple things up at the top here. Here comes the work. <clears throat> Add five new friends on Facebook. Not sensey people. Add five new friends on Facebook. Now, what I do is I come home and because I do home parties so often, um, I go into my home parties and you could do this for Facebook parties too. Um, and I go into the guest list and I add all of them as friends that I met at the party. So that's an easy way for me to do it um, because all the guest list is already there. You just have to go to their profile and hit add friend. Um, why do you want to do this? Because you want your friends and your hosts or your, you want your guests um, and your hosts and things like that to become part of your life and you become part of theirs by interacting and taking um, interest in their lives. And when you build that bond and you build that relationship, when they think, oh, I need Sensi, they're not going to think of anybody else because you just told them how cute their dog was or you were gushing over their kid or you were telling them how nice they looked or they see your post. They feel like they know you because in this day and age and with Auntie Rona, we have to work hard at our social media and build those relationships. It can't be just a one-sided Post, 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 post. You actually have to engage and build that relationship because you can't see them. Nobody wants the Rona. So, and I'm talking a lot because I know America's going through some crazy stuff. New Zealand's kind of got their poop in a group. So, but then they just keep letting people in that have it. So, <clears throat> I digress. So, add five new friends on Facebook. Um, follow up. Now, I've kind of replaced this one with Amy most of the time because it says, said thank you notes to customers. Yes, say thank you to customers. Sometimes I just send random text to customers that just say, thank you so much. I have, you know, your top fans on your business page. Um, I make sure I, I pay attention to them. Um, you could just send really nice thank you cards in the mail um, to them, things like that. Then the other one says, post in current events and parties. You definitely want to be doing that. You want to make sure that you're posting in your online parties or posting in your events that are connected to home parties, um, things like that. So that's what that, or if you're going to be at a fair, whatever that looks like, events and parties. Here is the next three things are essential. 
Now, I saw Delinda said one a day, and I was like, mm-mm. One a day. Poop in a group is something I heard on another director say, and I loved it because I'm known for my swearing. So me saying, would you just get your shit together? <laughs> is more abrasive than going, can you please get your poop in a group? So it's the nicer side of me. Welcome. Um, all right. I don't think if you're wanting to be a director and you want it bad or you want this incentive really bad or having like you want six tickets, one ain't going to cut it a day, people. I'm just keeping it real. So this says, and I say, five. Share opportunity with five people. Ask five customers to host any style. Five. Ask five to join. Ask five to host. And then it says shout out three teamies by voice message. So, um, what I do for the opportunity with five people or ask five customers to host any style I go to my VIP group and I start at the top of the list for join and I start at the bottom of the list for host and I work my way and then switch that way. Um, I also do it to my friends list. I go straight to my friends list and I go that route. And I, do you know what I mean? Go to the list, it makes it faster than you going, who could I ask? And you're scrolling and you're scrolling and you're scrolling. And a lot of times I will try to plan that out for the week. I'm going to ask all these people this week. I go through my list and I write them all down. It's five a day. So you're asking 25 people. If you do it five days a week, I've always said, if you do it at least five days a week, you're asking 100 people a month to host and you're asking 100, 100 people a month to join. You absolutely, seven days is better. It's always better. But even if you did it five days, what if? What if? Okay. And then shout out three teamies by voice message. So I try to shout out ones that maybe don't get enough or as much shout outs everywhere else for all their, they could be just consistent 200 PR viewers. And, but I will go run their annual sales. I'll go, I'll run an annual report and go, oh my God, I just want to say thank you so much for being part of Team One Bar. Do you know that you've sold this much since you started Sensi? Isn't that incredible? You may not think you're doing much, but check this out. And they're just like, wow, I never knew that. So those kind of things, it kind of refocuses you to pay attention to other people as well, okay? I know Anna takes good care of her people because we heard from Anna and how she does that. So that is the nook and cranny of this side. This is basically, now, this side, as I said, is your social media. So I'm gonna quickly run through why. First one, post six times on Facebook. For those of you that just post once a day, do you think people see it? On average, they say 7%, 7% of your friends or less will see your post. And is it engaging? Does it add value? Does it show your branding and your personality? You know, one of the best compliments is, oh, I always love seeing your posts. They always make me laugh. That is my biggest kind of goal is to just make people laugh. I love making people laugh because I think when you laugh, other stuff doesn't seem so bad and everybody needs that little laugh. But here's an example and it says, be yourself, a motivational quote, a product post, family pets, kids post, Sensi lifestyle post, engagement and interactive post, food fitness favorites post. So even if you don't know what to do, she's got six ideas of what you can do. And I actually do them at different times. But Facebook and, you know, think about who you're trying to, I'm very intentional. You can tell when I'm just on there because I have a day off because then I'm taking quizzes and doing weird stuff. But otherwise, I'm very intentional about what I'm posting. Um... Then it says, post three times to Instagram. 
Jilly Sue in her group, the Cozy Corner. Corner Cozy. I can't remember what it's called. It used to be called something else, but now it's Cozy something. But Jilly Sue. Um, she's doing lots of Instagram training lately. And, you know, how to use hashtags. Because a lot of people don't get hashtags. <laughs> um, and about stop following your friends. Because those aren't the social people you need. You need to go outside with personal interests and things like that. So lots of good stuff on that. Um, then it says, post to your Facebook business page, your Facebook VIP group, and your team page. Now, the rule of thumb has always been taught to me that on your personal page, because you shouldn't be using it for business, that's not how it's designed, and you, Facebook could actually go, mm, that's not what this is for, because you're on Facebook world, that you don't own your Facebook profile. Mark Zuckerberg owns your profile. <laughs> So 80% personal, 20% business. And I do my 20% business by sharing from my business page to try to get more people over to my business page from my personal page. And on your business page, 80% business, 20% personal. And some people don't put any personal. It's just product after product after product after product. Do you know how many people have contacted me and said, oh, I was referred to a bunch of people, but I sat and watched your videos and I really liked all your pictures and um, they, liked, they, they liked me. Sounds so weird. They liked me. Everybody can post a flyer, but what about, what, you know, what makes you stand out from a hun like 200,000 other consultants on the planet that they could do business with? Really really think about that. What are you good at? What do you like? What are your passions? You know, people that know me know animals. I am so pro animal, like so pro animal. I don't eat them. So many people come. I like tea, lots of crazy teas that most people don't even attempt. Um, I don't like children. Now I don't market that, <laughs> but it is part of my branding. I'm allergic to children. Um, I like very gothy, dark things. Um, I love horror movies and gory movies and, and all those kind of things. So I'm not going to change who I am to fit other people, but my people will find me. And, um, and I swear all the time. Everybody knows that too. So, you know, there's a lot of people. I'm not their cup of tea. There's a lot of people that probably don't like me. I don't care. All right, here's the big one. Com comment on 20 friends' posts. Now, this is not your sensei friends. This is friends. Friends. And I'll tell you the hard way to do this is to scroll and wait for your friend to come up, especially if you've been in sensei a while, because they're all freaking sensei posts, unless you've done the proper filing in your, in your security stuff. Um, one day, one day I might do that. Um, go to your friends list and look at who you haven't seen a post for in a while. Who would you like on your team? Who haven't you seen a post for in a while? That's who you want to go to their profile. Go to your friends list, click on who you want to see, go to their profile, and then Usually in the first couple, you can comment on something. When you comment on it, ask them a question. So, oh my gosh, that's a beautiful dress. Where did you get it? Is it new? Then they write back and go, well, thank you. Oh, I got it a long time ago. I think I got it at Target. Oh, did you get it, did you get it, you know, where you live or did, did you order it online? As soon as there's an engagement, Facebook says, oh, they actually do want to be friends. They want to see each other's posts. And now you'll see her post and she'll see your post more. So when you do post a sensey thing, she's going to see it. Better chances of her seeing it than before. Because if you aren't seeing her post, she's not seeing yours either. The other thing is what I truly believe is that I keep, I post everything public. My rule of thumb is if it, if you don't want the whole world to know it, you shouldn't be putting it on social media. End of story. If you want special kids, uh, 
like pictures of your family and your kids and like sometimes I get like weird about the naked baby thing not because of me but I just think of do you not know what's out there <laughs> like I'm not a parent but I'd be like mm -mm, mm -mm, not putting that out there so because when when somebody likes your post or comments on your post, it shoots it into their friend's feed and says, so-and-so like this or so-and-so commented on this. So that they see it too. Where if it's just your friends and your friends of friends, it stops. So I've learned a long time ago, everything is public. And if you don't want the public to know, it shouldn't be going on Facebook. End of story. That, that's, it's very simple. It's very simple. Um, but to get through 20 comments, that's not on all one person. This is 20 people. The best way to do that is to go through the friends list and just block, go through and get them done. I promise it's the fastest way because the other way will make it take five or six hours. This is what I'm sharing it with you. Then the next one says happy birthday messages. Make sure you go through your birthday messages on Facebook and wish everybody happy birthday. Um, and here's one. This is the last one. Message and thank the people who have commented or liked your latest three posts. So what I do, if they've commented especially, I message them and say, Hi, Kathy, I just wanted to say thank you so much for commenting on my post. You may not know it, but it really helps my business and I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. A lot of people don't know how Facebook works or social media works. They don't understand that a like and a love is bullshit and it really doesn't do anything. But the comments, the comments are what works. That's what matters. Um, if you have, this is one quick tip that my friend Nikki B, who does Social Vibe Tribe, um, one thing she taught me was when you're getting lots of comments, don't reply to all of them right away. Do three in the morning, do three at night, do three the next day, and the same. You say thank you and ask a question, or you say thank you and something else. So that it requires them to comment back because every time if you if you have something in somebody's feed if you post something and all these people comment it's still in the feed but as soon as everybody goes to bed or stops commenting it's as it goes through the day it starts falling out of people's feeds as soon as somebody comments it pumps it back up so then it goes back down so as soon as you comment it pumps it back up if you've noted this in groups, it's why I turn off commenting in my group a lot. I don't need to see it again. We've solved the problem. People comment on it and it will show up all of a sudden. I have people that have went and looked at my hair of different colors back in the day and they comment and people don't look at the date of the post and it's from like 2009 or 10 or something. And I'm like, look at the date. <laughs> but because they comment on it, it's now shot up in everybody's feeds. Um, that is how algorithms work. That is how social media works. So my, even my mom's like, oh, that post of yours has come back. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, cool. Thanks. Um, even the people that are crappy people and say stupid crap, they're actually helping your business because of boosting it into people's feeds. So if you just go back, you're getting more you're getting more exposure out of one post as opposed to saying thank you to 20 people all at once where you just get the exposure at that time. So I hope that makes sense. So I'm just going to quickly recap. Um, add five, do all your morning things. Add five friends on Facebook, follow up, share opportunity with five people, ask five customers to host any style, shout out three team members by voice message, post six times on Facebook, post three times on Instagram, post to your Facebook business page, your VIP group and your team page, comment on 20 friends posts, say, get your happy birthday messages done, and message and thank the people who have commented or liked your late, la latest three posts.
that is the sheet. Is it intense? Absolutely. But do you see how it focuses in on what you need to do? It doesn't say make samples. <laughs> it doesn't say, um, it doesn't say team postcards. Uh, Scalable Systems by Christina Stainbrook, that video that she did, I tried it. And, and look, as Jamie said, your systems may change. As my business grew, as my customer base grew, as my team grew, I've had, you had to flex and shift and try. And then your personality and how your brain works, it all matters. But you just don't know what it is. But the point is don't stop trying to have one. Um, so I tried the Scalable Systems and I don't use it per se, but I learned some very valuable things by trying it. And what I learned was it's okay for things to wait <laughs> because I just attacked everything right away. Everything right away. Oh, this came in. Act on it now. This came in. Act on it now. And I felt like the Tasmanian devil running and running going, I have to do this and I have to do this and I have to do this. What Christina Stainbrook taught me with her scalable systems was Monday you do this, Tuesday you do this, Wednesday you do this, Thursday you do this, Friday you do this, whatever your days are. And I didn't do what she did, but I looked at her sheets because she's got, of course, everything because she's amazing and she shares with everybody. But what I have learned is that to... Tuesday's team day. And ever since I started Scalable Systems, Tuesday has remained team day. So even though I have to do postcards for this month, I don't need to do them till next Tuesday. I do coaching calls on Mondays and Tuesdays. I don't do coaching calls Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Office day is my Monday. I just... I tried to make it Friday like Christina's and I was like, no, I can't because it's party day on Fridays. My party days are Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, okay. So when I saw myself always sitting in front of the computer on a Monday and doing paperwork and processing orders because it wasn't the weekend and I had my parties from the weekend to put through. Okay, well, let's make office day Monday. So that's when you do the paperwork things. But I also work in coaching calls. And you can work in your 90-day sleigh. Then, Tuesdays is team day. So the first Tuesday of the month, we do team training. Monday night, I actually stay up and I schedule all my recognition posts from the previous month of what people earned. Um, and have them schedule every five minutes for an hour and ten minutes. There's posts going on while I'm sleeping on Tuesday. And then, we have training on that Tuesday night. Wednesday's my day off because I give so much of myself Mondays and Tuesdays. Well, actually, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, I need to not people. I just need to not people. So Wednesday became my day off. And I remember when I allowed myself a day off, I was nervous because I was like, oh, I should be working. I should be working. And what I found is I always got PWS and people joining on those days. <laughs> the universe was like, you're, you're good. Go rest. And I couldn't be the best me without that day off. Um, like yesterday, I was like, nah, I'm done. I, nope. And to turn your phone off, do whatever you need to do, but do something to not be sensing. And still, I still get stuff. I check my messages in the morning. I check them at night before I go to bed. And I still post because you never not want to be consistent on social media, but there's things you can schedule as well. Um, and then Thursdays is usually I really focus on hosts um, and posting in events and um, following up. Oh, here's the other thing. That's what I was going to tell you. Um, let me see if I can find a couple. Okay, so I keep all my 90 day slays in a little binder. And when somebody says, just show you, when somebody says, yeah, I'll do that. Sure, I'd love, let me think about it. I'm thinking, have you ever considered joining? Yeah, I have. Oh, well, what stopped you from doing it? Well, blah, blah, blah. I said, well, here's the deal. This is why I think you should join. And then I tell them, and and if they're, they're open in interest, I, I highlight just that bit. When they say, yep, and they join, I color it all in. 
When I add five people to Facebook, I just highlight the, whoop, the little beginning. When they accept my friend request, I, I highlight the rest so I know it's done. So if it's all the way highlighted, it's super positive. If it's a little highlighted, it means, oh, we're open. Follow up with that. So when I go back to different days, let's see, I did a lot of these. So when I go to back to some of these, I know, you know what? We have a join special and these two people expressed interest in the past. I'll go follow up with them. Oh, I wonder what happened to my friend request there. So it's my way to follow up as well. So if I highlight it a little bit and I'm five days ahead and I'm like, ooh, don't forget to follow up. I can go back and look at what a little bit I highlighted so that I know what to follow up on. So, and, and I just save them because you know who you asked. You know who's kind of been interested. You know who said no, because I write no, and then I cross her off. Um, but you also know, like I know, I can see with some of these that I actually had highlighted the beginning of the three of them on the bottom, and then all but two of them had the party. She ended up doing one actually too. This is a little older, because it's from last year. but. Do you see what I'm saying? So figure out that system. I'm very organized. I'm very color focused. And I like things that are linear. <laughs> and very easy to see and remember. So, all right. So with everything I said, do you have any questions? I will load these before I go to my sip and sniff. Um, but feel free, ask me questions. We have been getting so much rain. Every time we get lots of rain, my internet is wonky, so I'm sorry. Um, hopefully it catches up. Hey, Anna Hughes. Um, if you don't know how to do something, research it, please. There are so much help out there about social media, about planning, about whatever. I get really upset when people are lazy and they message me going, where did you find that? Or where did you do this? And I'm like, for some people, you might like that. I just get annoyed by it because I'm like, why aren't you using Google? Google is the encyclopedia of this generation. Everything you can find on Google and pretty much YouTube too. <laughs> but honest to God, and that's why I put Christina Stainbrook's video in the comments. I put, um, I show my team how to plan their Sensi time. I did a quick video on how what, what I take them through when I start working with them um, because I want to know what kind of time we're working with and then focus on making the time that they have a lot of Sensi work for them because it's usually they have busy lives. So we have to use that time wisely. Um, and that is usually booking, hosting, or recruiting. It's not making samples. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I keep pounding that one, don't I? Um, but I'm just trying to bring the point home. So anybody have any questions? Otherwise, I'm out of here. Um, just going through quick in case I missed something. I'm glad you all like the poop in a group. I cannot claim ownership of that. It was in, I think... I think it was in one of the aha moments um, videos from last season. Thank you, Miss Mickey. All right, I'm out of here. Netflix just keeps sending me mail. Yes, Mickey, I kind of schooled you in the message tonight. <laughs> I'm like, did you look for it? <laughs> I answered Mickey the way I would answer my team going, hey, I love you, but... <laughs> I, everything I've learned, I've learned from YouTube or videos or researching everything in Sensi. I knew nothing about stuff like this when I came into Sensi. I knew how to be organized, but I didn't know. I didn't know what a Sensi was. I didn't know what Sensi was. I didn't know how to do Sensi. I didn't know how to do a party. I didn't know anything about Sensi, and I didn't have my kit. And I booked eight parties, and I didn't know anything. So. And I didn't have my kit yet. And I'd never tried it or smelt it or anything. <laughs> so everything, it's just a look. And remember to multitask. When I'm driving, I listen to things. When I'm cooking, when I'm cleaning, when I am labeling my catalogs or making samples, 
I am either watching Netflix because it's on my day off and I'm just relaxing, or I am watching training, listening to training while I'm doing other things. So just keep the positive stuff going in. Lead, being a leader is not easy, but it is worth it. So, all right. Have a good day, everybody. Um, sleep well, everybody in America. And I will see you on the flip side. I will load. Um, the daily 5x5 five five is already in your files because I'm looking at it. There's two of them. One's pretty, one's black and white. And then um, I will put the uh, 90 Day Slays in there as well from Christina Stainbrook. All right. Bye, everybody.